Hello, hi, how you doing? It's Jim. I'm back. It's Monday. Woohoo! Another week. Another bit of music to listen to. This is Emerson, Lake, and indeed Palmer, uh, with their live album, no less, Pictures at an Exhibition, which is their take on a uh, ten-piece piano suite by uh, Mazulski. Um I don't actually know the original, so this is... <laughs> it would, doesn't matter to me that it was by Mazorsky and is now being uh, reinterpreted by... Now, then being reinterpreted by Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Uh, I don't know the uh, the original music at all. Um, sorry, I just don't. <laughs> um, there's quite a bit of music on here. Um, we've got uh, Side One, Promenade, The Gnome... Promenade again. So I don't know if that's um, two versions of the same thing. And one's the original, one's the updated one. We've got the Sage, the Old Castle, and Blues Variation. Side two, we have Promenade uh, for a third time. Uh, the Hut of Baba Yaga, the Curse of Baba Yaga, the Hut of Baba, Baba Yaga again, <laughs> the Great Gates of Kiev. And then we have Nut Rocker, which is a, uh, I think that might be an encore, so a Nutcracker piece. Um, but it's, I, I, I quite, not quite sure how this is all going to sort of, um, sort of fit together and pan together and how it all works out and all that stuff. So the only way to find out is really to play it and listen, isn't it? This dates from about 1971, so well over 50 years ago. Um, uh, Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer probably need no introduction. Um, they are one of the big, big uh, bands of the early 70s of that prog golden era. Um, and it's a three-piece. Greg Lake, Carl Emerson, and... Uh, no, is it Carl Palmer and Keith Emerson? That's it. Sorry, got it wrong. Uh, you know who I mean. Right, so, bish bash bosh, let's get on and listen to some music, shall we? We're going to give you pictures at an exhibition. The crowd liked it. Liked the announcement anyway. I know that music. Of course I do.
I have absolutely no idea where we are at in the um, in the program. I'm not sure if there's going to be breaks between the pieces or it's just one big long flowing piece. Quite an extraordinary sound, isn't it? So, that's Promenade again, I think. So it's reprising. It's a reprise of...
Reminds me very much of. Uh, I can't remember what the piece of music is. In bright infinite moments, our reasons are lost in our From the sound of this, this is uh, the last piece on this side. Blues variation. Very bluesy.
Is that how we're going to start side two? I believe it could be. Huh, that's a slow fade. Awesome. Right, let's stop the record. Well, it does turn out that I know that piece of music, or certainly some of it. They, uh, the main theme from Promenade. Um, do, 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 I Of course I know that. I think it doesn't everybody. Um, I've heard it more times than I than I can possibly remember in my life. But I don't know. It's just one of those things that is everywhere. Um, but I didn't know who it was or what it was. So that's, that's always fun. Um, what an incredible noise these three are blokes made um the keyboard and synth sounds of keith not carl emerson <laughs> what an idiot of keith emerson uh, just extraordinary i mean he must have been um a real pioneer of using synths and uh and multiple keyboards at the same time um the sound of that would have been quite something uh, back in the very early 70s when it was all such a brand new um unknown sound the the synthesizer uh, just the extraordinary artif not artificial is the it is artificial because it's completely um created artificial sounds of sort of like gurgling and bubbling and squeals and squeaks and whizzes and all just sort of married in with the the uh the classical uh leanings with the pipe organ and uh other very heavy um heavily orchestrated keyboard sounds it's I mean, just a really really a great thing and it sounds uh, uh, the mixture also with all the other instruments it's it's so obviously you've got carl palmer doing not straight drumming at all. It's very, very intricate stuff that he's doing, and it is, it is more of a. It is titled obviously he's a rock drummer, but it's it's a percussive thing. It's it's almost orchestral percussion, but played with drum kit. It's a very, very interesting technique that he uses and the, and, and the sounds that he makes. Um, and then of course, third and not least. Last but not least, you've got um, Greg Lake playing all sorts of things. We have bass guitar, acoustic guitar, uh, probably some other guitars as well. And I think it's probably him singing. Um, the, the, the one piece there, though, I can't remember what it is that it reminded me of, but it was him singing over an acoustic guitar. Um, it might be a Pink Floyd song. It's, a, it's one of those things where you say, I know that, I know that so much. It reminds me of something I've listened to a thousand times in my life, and I just cannot figure out immediately what it is. And it, oh, this is going to drive me nuts, and I'll be thinking about it now for, for hours. Um, and it will suddenly come to me at some completely inappropriate random time. So, ah, that was Rush! And everyone's like, what? No, I, no, don't worry about it. No, I don't think it is. Don't worry, it's not Rush. It's, um, but it is something that I know, and I know really well. I just cannot put my finger on what it was. Um, I'm really, 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 really enjoying this. It's an uh, interesting, interesting, interesting piece of music. And I say a piece of music, because it kind of is. It's, everything's all sort of blending into one. It's done as a single performance. Now, the, <laughs> the YouTube algorithm, um, the copyright content ID bots might recognize this as many pieces and it will be saying that if because I put six pieces together it may end up being blocked so I'll probably have to split this which is a bit of a shame um, because I think it's, it's meant to be heard as one thing but uh, if it is I'm very sorry it's not my fault it's not my fault but I'm, I'm I'm trying my best here okay um so we'll leave that there I'm going to turn the record over and we're going to start listening to side two okay well I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is and until then this is Jim over and out